Hey, what's up everybody? It's the crew from the uh, Pyramid thing here and we're coming to you guys for our two-year anniversary. We can't believe it's been two years since we, uh, we got on stage in Orlando and declared where we are going to go with our lives and how successful we were going to be in front of a crowd of a, just a couple thousand people. And now today, we're in the Miami Heat Arena in Miami, Florida. We're selling out 17,000 people this weekend. We're literally on the stage right now as they're constructing it. You know, the lights are going and people are walking through, setting stuff up. And uh, I'm just excited to be here with my very good friends after two years. Yay! What do you guys think? Pretty wild two years, yes. huh? An amazing two years. In fact, I remember the second of us putting our butts on the line on that stage in front of all of our team and the rest of the company. And we can officially say today that, that we achieved our goal. We did it. Here we are. We, we've all gone beyond the positions and ranks that we thought we would hit. Um, but more importantly, you know, there's 600 something families that are now through the, through the six of us making a six figure income plus a year. That to me is the coolest thing and then actually sitting in this arena, I mean the hair on my arms is standing up. I think this is something that I've been looking forward to for uh, about seven years now. <laughs> I think it's incredible that we've gone from a uh, hotel room meeting room uh, with about two to three thousand people to now selling out arenas. It's just like unbelievable and it's something that I know Nick, uh, you know, ever since I got involved in network marketing has been talking about how one day we're going to be selling out arenas and going to be in stadiums and it's here now. It's absolutely incredible. I'm excited. What's been your favorite part about the last two years, guys? I have I have been having a lot of like surreal, is this really happening moments. I'm still waiting for my alarm clock to go off and my dad to walk in and say, you gotta go to school. I mean, this is like <laughs> crazy. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, the, the first time, I think my first time in my life, I'm speechless. This is, it's overwhelming, the feelings, the goosebumps, the, the accomplishment, the lives that we've been changing over the last two years, um, and the lives we're gonna change over the next 30, 40 years doing what we love to do is just, uh, it's surreal. It's but you, crazy. You guys have made some serious transformations with customers yeah. and, and promoters. And I, mean, I think of what you guys have done just through Facebook alone and changing people's lives over the last couple of years. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. She's the queen. She's yeah. the queen of that. Thousands of transformations, you know, from the pocketbook to, you know, the sexiness now of everybody. It's just amazing. And, and you know, just to be able to look out there and see, you know, 17, 18,000 people and just know that we all impacted their lives one way or another, right? And it's just going to get better and better and better. It's so exciting. Can you believe that Jeremy went from a uh, an air mattress to a five-star ambassador, yeah. millionaire a year? <laughs> A silver elite oh. member with United, thank you. I'm sorry. And he has airline staff. Airline. Oh, airline, listen. A free bag. You get a free bag check. For me, it was different, though. For me, it was more, um, I went from having fun, you know, declaring I'm going to hit two star with Lee and Stewart. It went past that five star. But for me, it was more fun because uh, I've gotten more serious about it. I've learned, this is a million dollar business, you know what I mean? So we, you know, 17,000 people, I laugh at that now, it's great, but I mean, I'm looking forward to the arenas, things like that, you know? So for me, it's wake up, especially after yesterday's meeting and learning, how can I keep this a million dollar business, you know, yeah. over and over and over and over again. So it's pretty cool. So, you know what I love? Out. I love you guys, and I love how many people have found us through the, the pyramid thing. Oh yeah. You know, production that we have online. I think a lot of people now realize that Wait a minute, these are normal people. Yeah. They're just like me. They just made a decision one day to go out there and do something spectacular, and here we are. We're I just think, like I, I think one word sums up the last two years or where we are right now, and that's upgrade. Upgrade. <laughs> yeah. upgrade. Everything has. Yeah. Everything has. Everything. I upgraded my wife. I got it. <laughs> he wasn't married before. I wasn't before. married before. Was it? Was upgrade. Right. Well, we get what you mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, well, remember that you were in the flirty stages. Like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We actually got engaged while shooting the pyramid thing. Oh, we got the engaged first episode was very, I love you, I love you. I love you. Do it again. <laughs> it was sickening. Do it again. It was do it. Sickening. They're checking the lights on and off. Let's make sure. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm. Okay, good. All right, all right. Well, <laughs> what we want to do this weekend with you guys is give you kind of the final recap and the final show, the two year, where are they now? And uh, we hope you guys enjoy it. We hope you've enjoyed watching all the episodes. And uh, we hope to, uh, you enjoy this weekend with us because this is a, a life-changing weekend for all of us uh, today. And, and, and uh, man, we've come so far. And we hope that all of you do the same thing in all of your lives. So uh, enjoy the, our last and final episode together. Yay.
Love you guys. One more time. One more time. One more time. Hey guys, Nick and Ashley here. We're ready to do our uh, two-year recap of uh, what has happened since we first, you know, started filming the episode. Um, when we first started, and I met, you know, Will, the producer. Um, I had actually just resigned uh, from corporate and went in the field. And 60 days later, I met Will. So I, I was, you know, an ambassador. And Ashley was not yet even building the spot together with me until April. Uh, so you know, she decided to um, resign her position and come build the spot with me in April. And then July uh, was when we first got on that stage together for the first uh, episode of the Pyramid thing. So I met Will in uh, March. Uh, uh, Ashley started building with me in April. We, I was only an ambassador at that point. And then uh, July we started filming. And at that point we were three star ambassadors. Um, there was a thousand people in the Orlando convention. And we had made the declaration that, hey, we're going to hit five star. And that was going to be the serious run. Um, you know, what, what do you remember, babe, about the, when we first started filming? We were that, those lowly three stars that we, we, couldn't, we couldn't generate much results. I remember having a hoarse voice like I do now. <laughs> I remember, uh, you know, just burning the candle at both ends and, you know, doing whatever it took um, to, you know, come out and, and do what we said we were going to do. And it was, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy. You know, we, we had a lot of... Uh, a lot of tough days, a lot of little um, arguments here and there. We still do. <laughs> but you know, all those people that were with us at the time are now millionaires, um, so that's pretty cool. So we had, uh, you know, we made the declaration to go five star, and we made that run. We knocked five star out, which at that time only you know Kyle Pacetti had done it, and, and maybe Jason O'Toole by the time we had gotten there. So it's. Uh, it wasn't an easy thing to do. It was a very difficult thing to do, uh, making that five star ambassador run, and um, you know, we from there. Over the last two years, we became uh, global ambassadors. Went from uh, which know, is five five stars. Five personally enrolled five stars, <laughs> right? Um, and uh, we were making at three star when we got and made the declaration. We're probably making twenty five grand a month, and now at global, two hundred fifty plus thousand a month. Um, life of our dreams. We get to you know travel and, and um, you know we have we have all the things that we want. So things you know are, are less important now. It's just about. <laughs> the people in the team. Nick and I counted, it was over 700. 700 families uh, now that we've helped create a six-figure income. Plus, some of those are now you know, obviously millionaires and some are even a million a year earners, which is yeah. crazy. And you look at, uh, you look at where we were at uh, being, we weren't even a six-figure earner when I met, you know, when I talked about the pyramid thing. We had just got to becoming a six-figure run rate when we started shooting. And uh, now we've created 700 of them and uh, make a six-figure income a month. So, um, and you have to talk so much to do that that you lose your voice. Yeah, you just sound exactly. like a 90-year-old so lady to do that. who smokes and drinks coffee all day. <laughs> but you're still beautiful. You're a beautiful 90-year-old later. Well, lady look at you. That, that's lost her voice. Um, so in in, uh, in closing, um, it's possible. It's 
not easy. Um, it uh, took everything we had and then some. And um, I hope all of you guys, you know, follow your dream, whatever it is in this industry, you go for it, and don't let anyone tell you that uh, you can't do it. You know what? It's worth it, guys. Just you know, if you stick the course and stay to it, and just know exactly what it is that you want. And every single day, go out there and work toward it. Even if it's something little, every single day, do it and you'll get there too. We'll see you in the next season. Bye, everybody. I think the primary reason why this particular weekend is so important for my salas is the, um, it's the first time that we've ever uh, sold out an arena. You know, we've gone from hotel uh, uh, um, banquet rooms to convention centers to now arenas. Um, in the first or in the last two years and uh, you know two years ago there's two to three thousand people in a hotel at a Wyndham and uh, now we've got the, the Miami Heat Arena you know 17 18 thousand people and it, it's it's um, a bit of history you know for the company it's the first time we've ever done this and I believe it's going to be a significant launching pad um, from you know for where we go next no doubt about it.